Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this question is a good one to do because, uh, you know, it's an overview of chapter 10, which means I can't uh, really point you to one section. <laughs> so let me do that uh, in case. I, I do encourage you to you know, give it a try on your, yourself um, and, you know, come to this recorded portion of the video if uh, um, things are frustrating you. So, so it, the question is about Venus, Earth, and Mars. Uh, I guess not Mercury because Mercury doesn't have atmosphere. It's a little bit unlike uh, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So these three planets are similar to each other. Choose all statements below correctly comparing or contrasting. Okay. Basically correct statements. Um, okay. Among all three planets, Earth is the, yeah, it's the only planet where life is known to exist. Um, I think we are at the moment hoping that Mars might have had microbial life in the past. I don't think there are people who still uh, are holding on to hope that Mars still has life. And Venus, who knows about Venus? Maybe in the past, but definitely not. Not the life as we know, because Venus's atmosphere is very hostile. Um, Venus, Earth, Mars all show signs of geological activity, yes. Uh, Mars has that Olympus moons, moons, which is the largest volcanic mountain in the entire solar system. And Venus does show uh, also uh, signs of geological activity from the uh, a few hours at a time that we've had landers on the on Venus. Um, so yeah, this is correct. Venus, Earth, and Mars all have similar composition in terms of their interior and in terms of their atmosphere. I want to say no. In terms of their interior, yeah, uh, it's made of rocks and uh, silicates and metal, as your textbook says. But uh, atmosphere, um, Earth has oxygen. <laughs> None of these uh, uh, have oxygen. Earth has oxygen because of life. And so, um, so yeah, I won't check that because second half is wrong. And if any part of it is wrong, the whole thing is wrong. Um, only Earth among all three planets shown evidence of water. Yeah, solid for Mars actually. Um, I think we discovered ice uh, on Mars. Uh, one of the ro rovers dug it up from ground, I think. Um, so, and in Mars's polar caps, which are mostly made of dry ice, uh, underneath the dry ice, there should be water ice. So that's not right because it's uh, ignoring Mars, discoveries on Mars. Only Earth among all three planets exhibits significant magnetic field produced by the spinning core. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I think that's right. Um, both, so Venus and Mars, they do have uh, something called the magnetosphere, but I think it's a result of more of an interaction between solar wind and their atmosphere. Mercury has a magnetic field, just smaller than Earth. But both Venus and Mars, um, don't. Uh, their magnetic fields are tiny, much, much smaller than Earth's or Mercury's. Uh, Venus has an atmosphere that is nearly 100 times the density of Earth's atmosphere and more than 10,000 times density. I think that sounds right. Um, uh, Martian atmosphere is at like 1% of Earth's atmosphere. And I think that's one thing I misspoke in an earlier virtual class session. I think I might have said like 0.1%. I think it's 1%. Um, Mars's atmosphere compared to Earth. Um, so only Venus among all three planets have an atmosphere. Yeah, this is a tricky choice because uh, Mars also has an atmosphere that is largely composed of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is, is common, it's largely inert, so it outgasses from rocks and it stays in the air. Um, so Mars also has an atmosphere largely made up of carbon dioxide. Okay, and this is wrong. Um, human spacecraft has landed on Venus. Um, I don't know about American uh, spacecraft. Uh, Russian spacecraft definitely did. The Venera missions, I think, your, the lecture slides should make a mention of them. Um, and they didn't last long, like two hours, um, but because of these conditions, but we've landed. Uh, okay, I think, hopefully I got them all right. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, it, uh, um, it's just, uh, I do hope uh, it um, makes some sort of impression on you how 
similar uh, some of the features of these planets are and how dissimilar some of them are. But, uh, um, and you know, these are really the only other planets where um, these and other planets in the solar system are the only ones we've had uh, extensive observation through probes. And so it, 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 it's uh, worth knowing. 